favor in your sight. And Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I'd cross the hardest desert. I'd travel near or far for your glory. I will do anything. Just to see you, to behold you as my King, for your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my King. I want to be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I want to be where you are. I gotta be where you are. Love is where you are. Gotta be where you are. Peace is where you are. Peace is where you are. Oh. At this time, I have the honor to present to you the moral leader of our nation. I have the pleasure to present Dr. Martin Luther King. Thank you kindly, my dear friend. Distinguished guests, members of the faculty and students of this great learning institution. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an era of offensive on part of the oppressed people. All people deprived of their dignity and freedom are on a march on every continent throughout the world. The student sit-in is just such an offensive. In the history of Negro people's system and justice of freedom, the students have taken the justice system into their own strong hands. They have revealed to the nation and the world their determined courage. They have embraced the philosophy of direct mass nonviolent action. They are moving away from tactics, which are merely suitable for gradual and long-term change. The time is right to do what's right. I've never seen that before. Two doors in a jail. The clan come in one door and out the other. What? 
New Negroes. Hallelujah. A, a good afternoon. Y'all crazy kids gonna have done it now. Uh, pardon me? Clan gonna have they say. Clan gonna have they wait. Trying to sit down and eat lunch with the white folks. Hallelujah. What now, Miss Rupert? I guess we wait. I can't believe they arrested you too, Miss Rupert. I mean, for heaven's sakes, you are an English professor at Talladega College. Unless President Long decides to relieve me of my teaching duties. He can't. He won't. He could. If the state threatens to take away funding from the college, that's what happened at Alabama State during their sit-ins. Two professors were fired. Some students were expelled from Alabama State too. Oh, I hope the boys are okay. Negro boys, the Klan feeds on Negro boys. Hallelujah. That, that fat deputy, I, I've seen him. He kept jabbing Eric Hall in the back with his blackjack. I saw him. And Sheriff Brody threw Sam Cole against the police car. This Talladega, Alabama, home of the Imperial Wizard, Colonel David D. DuBose, and the Tuscaloosa Clan. The men's section of the county jail is in the basement. I'm sure that's where they're being held. Well, how do you know that, Miss Rupert? Well, she had to bail your brother out of jail for intoxication three times this year alone. Mm, he's your boyfriend. Well, that's how I know. Mm -hmm. Rats speak as cats in the basement. Hear them in the walls on their way down. Who did you call, Miss Rupert? Dean Davis with my one phone call. So? So he said he'll handle it. He said he'll get the college's attorney. Whew. Dean Davis should have called Pastor Beverly of Mount Cannon Baptist Church. That's right. Yeah. Pastor Beverly is a very important Negro in Talladega County. <laughs> Ain't no important Negroes here in Talladega. <laughs> All the important Negroes gone missing. Miss Rupert, no matter what happens today, thank you for going down to the Talladega Lunch and Grill with us. We appreciate you. I just wish we could have organized something like this when I was a student at Talladega. I'm starving. <laughs> you get a bologna sandwich for dinner, a cup of water, and a bologna sandwich. She kid. She's kidding. Uh, no. We can write a book about our experience. Put Talladega College on a civil rights history map along with Tougaloo College, mm -hmm. Alabama State, mm -hmm. and North Carolina a and We made history today, ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't buy where you can't eat. Segregation must go. Hallelujah. 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 Miss. Miss. Miss Willamay Black, Esquire. How long have you been in here, Miss Black? Longer than Mary Grover. Mary Grover? Mary Grover was in here with me. Clerk at the Woolworths say, we stole some sewing needles. I didn't, but Mary Grover did. They come and got her three days ago. But who came and got her? The Klan. The Klan, now come on. The Klan got their own keys to the jail. They come for you on day three. Ku Klux Klan. KKK. What? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Is she telling the truth? Uh, she just... What if she tell she the ain't, truth? She ain't, she ain't, can't no, no, you no, no. see? How long we gonna be here, Miss Rupert? Yeah, how long, Miss Rupert? They can't really keep us here three days, can they, Miss Rupert? Better hope it's longer than Mary Grover. Miss Black, you're starting to scare the girls. They see scared! They ain't seen scared to the clan come and string one. Dean Davis, 
Jesus knows we're here. We'll be out of here soon. Hopefully. You know, someone ought to call Dr. Martin Luther King. He helped Alabama State and North Carolina a with their sit-ins. I'm sure he's aware of the situation. There were enough news people and TV cameras down there when Sheriff and his deputies came and took us away. Dragged us away. I'm proud of us. You should be. Because it's about more than Thelma Harris, Frankie McHenry, and Mary Helen McCroom going and sitting and eat a hot dog at Talladega Lunch and Grill. It goes much deeper than that. It's, it's about making a choice. The ability to say, I choose to sit here at this lunch counter. That's right. Like, I choose to drink water from that water fountain. I don't choose to drink whites only water or black only water. I choose to drink water. Yes. When those white boys poured ice water on our heads, I wasn't mad at them. I was mad at the system. I was mad at old Jim Crow. Jim Crow! Jeff Crow, get here! I got some talk for you! A murder crows. Tuscaloosa clan. Smart. Slow. Silent. The entire student body is sick of this city's racial discrimination. We're sick of being targeted. Not allowed to shop or eat at Court Square, Talladega, Alabama. We had to do something. You did do something. A murder crow. We'll have even bigger numbers next time. Right. Uh-huh. All the Greeks want in. The, the Alphas, the Deltas, the Zetas. And the, the, the Kappas and the Qs said they'll be there next time. Every Negro in America ought to be protesting if they care about their futures and their lives. A murder Negro. When I, I called and told my parents what we were doing, huh, my dad said we were crazy. And my mama said I should dress like I'm going to church. I said, no, I'm wearing jeans. She said, now who's your mother? I say you. You do what your mother tells you. But I said, what if I get killed? You know what she said? What? Mm. You'll be dressed to kill. <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing is monumental. I know what your mother said sounds funny, but... Hallelujah! An electrifying movement has shattered the plastic surface of campuses and communities across the South. Through sit-ins and other demonstrations have given America a glowing example of disciplined, dignified, nonviolence action against the system of segregation. Though confronted in places by hootlums, police guns, tear gas arrests, and jail sentences, the Negroes have tenaciously continued to sit down and demand equal service in the lunch store counters and they've extended their protest from city to city. Spontaneously born, but guided by the theory of nonviolent resistant, the lunch counter sit-in has accomplished integration in hundreds of communities at the swiftest rate of change in the civil rights movement. There is nothing more majestic than the demonstration of Negroes who have been willing to suffer and sacrifice for their freedom and dignity. What time is it? Is it six o'clock yet? Thank you. Maybe we should Frank call someone it. else. Negroes have to make sacrifices in order to make gains. Now that's what Dr. Martin Luther King said, and that's what we're doing here in Talladega with the sit-ins. Today is day three. Dean Davis is going to come for us. Yes, and we're all going to be all right. I, I heard screams last night. Screams? I ain't hear no screams. I didn't hear anything. I heard it. I didn't either. Maybe you were having a nightmare. I wasn't having a nightmare. I wasn't asleep. 
the screens came down from the basement. Night time is the fiend time. Rats big as cats, I tell you. Oh, Miss Black, please. Now I hear them in the walls marching on their way down for supper. I, I wasn't asleep. I, I heard the screams. You think it was one of the boys, Miss Rupert? Oh, sweet Jesus. Today is day three. Man, would you please stop? <laughs> Miss Black, you have to stop. You're frightening the girls. <laughs> it's funny we're here now. We've been planning this sit-in for weeks. We'd meet the boys down at Sumner Hall, Eric Hall, Joe Hickerson, Wayne Hollywood Freeman, Gus, Bill Hughes, and Charles Sr. We'd leave out at 11.15 a.m., walk down West Battle Street, cross 25th Street in the railroad tracks, down the hill, past Hot Pockets, and on to Court Square. We'd cross the street, split up in two groups on opposite sides to not to attract too much attention. Sheriff Brody's car is always parked on the square, right in front of Dolly's Donuts. <laughs> now, most of the time, Sheriff Brody be sleeping in his car, but we ain't want to take no chances. We entered Woolworth through the double doors. And we filled the lunch counters right before noon rush. <sighs> we made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll never forget that feeling. I felt better that day than I felt my whole life just sitting there. Mm. Tall, white patron. She started to gather and they started whispering at us. And a blonde waitress with a name tag said, Molly, on it, ran to the back. Then the manager, a redhead, kindly told us we could not sit at the counter. Maybe assuming we was all incoming freshmen and ain't no no better. <laughs> when we refused, she got angry. She screamed, I said, you can't eat here. Get out! But Eric Hall, he smiled and said, we're hungry. Said, we're, we're ready, ready and, and want, want to order. order. She raced off to the payphone to call the sheriff. By then, the TV and news people were already alerted by the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, and they were filming and taking photos. Later, they'd sell those photos to the larger TV and news outlets. Within minutes, we heard the sirens. <laughs> Patients began screaming at us, calling us names, pouring ice, water, Ooh. sugar, salt on our heads. Sheriff Brody and his deputies begin dragging us out. Cameras rolling and into the vans. Talladega, Alabama is the new Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> In communities like in Court Square, Talladega, Alabama, where Negroes state sit-ins despite the city and state government intimidation, we cannot allow the challenge or change the challenge in the system of segregation. Whether it's in schools, public parks, churches, or lunch counters, Segregation has to be removed from our society. And we must have our Negroes prepared to suffer, sacrifice, and even die to gain their goals. 
We cannot rest until we have achieved the idea of our democracy. I have prayed over our southern situation and I have come to the conclusion that we are in for a season of suffering. Nevertheless, the spirit of self-sacrifice and commitment has remained firm and the city and state government finds themselves dealing with Negro students who have lost the fear of jail and physical injury. We shall not and will not allow these gallant students to stand alone. What time is it? My watch stop. 7 p.m. I heard something. What, people? I didn't hear anything. Quiet, do you hear that? What? What? A murder crow. I heard my name. Oh, Frankie, you're hearing things. I'm not. <laughs> you heard. You came. You came. Thank you. Oh, Dr. King, thank you. <laughs> the entire Teledega student body is outside. And you must be Professor Rupert. I am. <laughs> oh, Dr. King, the boys, they're down in the basement. They're okay now. Dean David is bringing them out. <sighs> How are you able to secure our release? Well, we have people in high places. Thank you, God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Miss Willa May Black? Esquire. You're free to go? By the orders of the U.S. Attorney General, Robert F. Kennedy. And I'll provide the sacrifice. You pour out your spirit, and I will open up inside. You provide the fire. And I'll provide the sacrifice. You pour out your spirit. And I will open up inside. Feel me, oh God. Feel me, oh God. Feel me, oh God. Feel me. Feel me, oh God, feel me, oh God, feel me, oh God, feel me, oh feel me, oh till I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I wanna run over. I wanna run over. Fill me up till I overflow. I wanna run over. 
I want to run over. Fill me up. Fill me up. Oh, fill me up. Oh, fill me up. Oh, I'll burn for you, Jesus. Oh, fill me up. Oh, fill me up. Come on. Thanks for watching TV20. We are people.